All right, recording in progress. So that's our quick reminder, just that anything uh, noise on your end, we can all hear it. So if you get a phone call, if someone comes into the room to chat with you, if they're doing something in the other room that's quite noisy, uh, please just put yourself on mute. And then we would, I would love for you to unmute yourself just to participate in some discussion and ask questions, but just be aware of that piece. And everyone can hear me and see me okay? Yep. Yep. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, uh, make sure you have your stretchy band handy because we are gonna use that today. Then just look around, make sure you have a nice clear space for exercise, nothing to step on or trip over. Uh, and remember recovery position, you can get down onto your forearms or onto your hands. We're just leaning over slightly seated or standing. And we'll work on our recovery breathing as well. It's just exhaling through pursed lips. And just keep monitoring your body. Everyone goes at their own pace. So if you feel shaky or lightheaded um, or like you can't take a full breath, those are all signs to just stop, focus on your breathing and rest and ask questions as needed. All right, everybody. So with that said, I don't think you can quite see my feet. So maybe I'll lower this just a touch more. <clears throat> All right, we're, st pardon? That's better. That's better. Thank you, Ranji. appreciate it. All right, and Joe, we're just. Okay, okay. I said it might be my, my, my camera, but you're not very sharp focused. I'm not, in, I'm not in sharp focus. Yeah, no, the picture is not sharp. To me, but maybe my just my device yeah. looks good to me. Okay, yeah. that's fine. That's, I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll, that's we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Okay. okay. Tell your computer it might need some glasses. <laughs> <laughs> or if I put some on my camera, maybe that would help. <laughs> It'd sharpen me right up. <laughs> All right, team, let's uh, either lifting an arm, keeping your elbow bent or stretching it right up as you inhale and exhaling through pursed lips to bring the arm back down. And then we're alternating arms. So breathe in, lift the arm, either bringing just the elbow up, right? We've got a sore shoulder or neck or lifting that arm straight up as we breathe in, breathe out to lower the arm. And we're alternating, breathe in to lift the arm, breathe out to lower the arm. Breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower. Once more, breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower. Now we're gonna bring our arm out to the side, still in time with our breathing. So pull the arm out to the side as you breathe in and out through pursed lips, alternating arms, breathe in, move the arm out, breathe out to bring it back in, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Again, sore shoulder, keep the elbow tucked in, just move the hand away. Inhale and exhale. Once more per side. Good, and shake out the arms. So now I want you just to grab underneath your chair. Um, I have a bench, so my arms, my hands are facing this way, but it is okay for your palms to face each other if you're grabbing on the outside of the chair, okay? It doesn't matter. Now gently just pull up, very, very gently. We're just gently pulling up on the chair. Maintain your breathing pattern. I just want you to start lifting and lowering your heels. And we're maintaining that gentle pull on your chair, it should not feel anywhere close to straining. It should just feel a little bit more challenging than letting your arms hang loose, okay? 
So lift up your heels, press through your toes, and then lower back down. Lift up your heels, press through your toes, and lower back down. And throughout this whole movement, everybody, I still want to be seeing your deeper breathing. And I know I keep steadily adding an extra thing to think about. That's not going to stop. So be prepared. <laughs> Good. All right, let's start lifting up one heel at a time. You can loosen off your arms. And now what I want you to do is you've got two options. It just depends on your shoulder and neck. So either sore shoulder and necks, so you're just going to pull your arms apart and hold them there. Again, lifting up one heel at a time. If you do not have a sore shoulder or neck, bring your elbows out, fingertips behind the ears. Do not push on your neck. Just hold your fingertips by your ears and pull those elbows out and hold. And once again, we're trying to do our deeper, steady breathing, making sure to breathe out through pursed lips. So we're getting your different muscles across the chest and back and shoulders to stretch out as we deep breathe. So that's gonna help open up your chest and rib cage and allow you to take in a little bit more of a deeper breath. Good. And relax those arms. Good. Now start tapping your heels. One, two, and then switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. So we're tapping each heel twice before we switch which foot we're working with. One, two, one, two. Good. And as we get those heels going, maintain that speed, maintain your sequence. Try to now separate your brain. One part of your brain is focused on your feet. And now the other part of your brain is focused on your arms pushing forward and back. <laughs> so remember, we're still doing that one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Whoops, I stuttered. Hopefully you all saw it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, tap each heel twice and then switch. There we go. No complaints yet. So I think we're off to a great start. My or most hurts. of us are muted. Yeah, your brain hurts. <laughs> I know I warned you from day one, this is an exercise class, meaning we're gonna work your bodies and your brains. <laughs> Good. All right, now switch it up. Now I want you to tap a heel forward. So keep the toes up and then bring it back in. So touch your heel forward, bring it back in. Heel back, heel back. Keep those toes pointed up. We're gonna get the arms involved pretty soon. All right, so the same movement we were just working on with reaching the arms but you're reaching just the opposite arm to the foot and back. Opposite arm and back. So opposite arm and foot reach forward and then they bring themselves back. Now, be cautious guys. If you've got a sore lower back, make sure we're not reaching and moving our whole body forward. Okay, that can put you in a bit of that flexed position. So I want you to focus on keeping your torso upright and still. So just the limbs are moving. So yes, that means we have to tighten up at our core, make sure we're not rocking forwards and backwards. And I think it's time to make this more challenging. All right, get your feet in that pattern. One, two, one, two. And now your arm is gonna reach forward twice and then switch. So one, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch, one, 
two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch. Oh boy, oh boy. Well done, gang. Remember, remember to go at your own pace. I know sometimes I get a little overexcited and I speed it up accidentally. And you guys do just so great. Because you can't see our feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got yourself here today and you're pretty game to just try whatever I throw at you. There, and rest, shake out the arms and legs. Brilliant. Okay, let's get our feet. Uh, imagine that there's a square around your feet. Your feet are inside the square, okay? Now I just want one foot stepping out of the square and then coming back into the square. So one foot steps out of the square, back into the square. Other foot out of the square, back into the square. Out, in, out, in. Out, in, out, in. And yes, I know I could have just said one foot steps out to the side at the time, but we're gonna come back to that box. So it's better to introduce you to the, to the square before we start getting fancy with it. Now, I haven't forgotten your arms. Let's get your same arm moving out with your leg. And again, I don't want your bodies all moving all over the place. Tighten up the belly. Think about trying to uh, squeeze your belly button. There we go. Good. And now we're going to switch it up to the opposite arm and leg. Move out and back in. Opposite arm and leg, back ah. in. Opposites out, back in. Opposites out, back in. Now remember your pursed lip exhale. Still maintain that. You might not be able to maintain those deeper breaths that we were doing at the beginning, but that's okay. That's part of exercise. Your heart rate has to increase a little bit. Your how quickly you are breathing has to increase a little bit. That's part of exercise, but you do need to make sure we're breathing out through pursed lips to make sure we're emptying our lungs as much as we can so that then there's more room for fresh air to come in. Good, and rest. Now, at any point, because we always talk in this class that our goal is for the class and the exercises to be challenging yet doable, and the only way to make that balance happen for everybody in the class is that you take accountability for what your body needs. You're in charge of taking more rest time as needed. You're in charge of increasing or decreasing intensity as needed. Okay. So remember that square. Because now I want your feet stepping out, out of the square, and then back in, in, out out, in, in, out, out, in, in. And for those of you that would prefer to do this standing, I would just encourage you to have some balance support close by, maybe stand behind your chair so that it's right there in front of you. Good, good. Now, <laughs> From, from the shoulders down, it looks like you all have this movement. Or should I say from the shoulders up, it looks like you all have this movement. <laughs> so let's involve the arms. And we're going to get your arms, your opposite arm going out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. And remember, it doesn't have to be a big step, out, out especially if you've got a sore lower back or hips, you can keep the steps smaller, do what is best for you. Out, out, in, 
in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Does does anyone yet feel like we're starting to learn a dance for a for some type of birthday party? <laughs> You practice these steps and you're going to be very popular at Christmas time. <laughs> uh, you just wait. We're going to get super fancy with it. Good. And bring everything back into the square and shake it out. Now it's a great time for a sip of water. Uh, and still remember that box. We're gonna use this box for a lot of different steps today and that's gonna be our cardio portion. So hopefully everyone's actually feeling fairly warmed up at this point. Oh, yeah. And we're now getting into the point where I want to challenge you to work at whatever your intensity capacity is, is just to increase the intensity a little bit. So yes, we are looking to get your heart rates up a little bit more now. We're looking for you to be breathing a little bit faster than you do when you're just resting, okay? Now, the next movement, thinking of that square, is one leg is gonna cross out of the square and then back in. Your foot's gonna cross out and then back in. Cross out, back in. Cross out, back in. Cross out, back in. Good. And if you're doing this while standing, just making sure you step and back in. And whatever foot you step with, make sure you put your weight on that foot. Put your weight on that foot. And you don't even have to cross all the way, right? If that doesn't feel great on the knees or the hips, just keep that foot more in line. But keep your weight pressing through the stepping foot that's going to help you with your balance rather than trying to lean away from it and step okay lean into it versus sitting you're balanced and stable you can just tap your heel good Great job, team. Good. And rest. Shake out the arms and legs. And in case you're wondering, we're doing about a minute for a movement. A minute, minute 15, you know me. And then about 30 seconds of rest, okay? Now, that next one, one foot out, one foot in the square. We're gonna step your outside foot in, out, up. Oh. Outside foot comes in, foot goes out, this foot lifts up. So again, in, out, up. In, out, up. In, out, up, in, out, up, in, out, up. And the whole time, if this helps, you keep alternating which leg moves, right? Left, right, left, right, left, right, okay? In, out, up. Standing up, it looks like this. In, out, up, in, out, up, in, out, up, in, out, up. And once again, I highly encourage you to have balance support close by, preferably in front of you. Maybe do this behind your chair. In, out, up, in, out, up, 
in, out, up, in, out, up, in, out, up, in, out, up. There we go. I told you we were learning some fancy moves today. Did Maureen not send out the email that it was a half Zumba class today? We're going to start the Latin music any moment now. <laughs> and I didn't get the memo. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, be careful, Rick, because uh, Thursday is belly dancing. <laughs> as long as there's no disco. <laughs> okay, deal. That was the plan for next week, but we'll change it up. <laughs> That's what I like to, that's what I like to say. Usually it's to the men. The men joke about not having, they can't move their hips as well. Uh, my dad's one of those folk. He Use it or lose it as they say. Life. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get those hips working today, everybody. Awesome. All right, next movement in the box. Okay, we are going to, Again, your feet should be right under your knees, not tucked underneath the chair. So imagine that square because one foot is stepping forward out of it and back. The other foot is stepping behind it and back. And then we're alternating. So if it's my right foot forward, back, my left foot behind, back. Well, now my left foot goes forward, back, right leg goes behind, back. Good, clear as mud. <clears throat> Forwards, back, behind, back. Forwards, back, behind, back. Forwards, back, behind, back. Forwards, back, behind. Forwards, behind. Forwards, behind. Forwards, behind, forwards, behind, forwards, behind, forwards, behind, forwards, behind, forwards, behind. Good. They ever feel like they've kind of got the pattern now? No. Puzzling. What? What? Well, I've got it, but it's easy to get confused. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's important that you just try. The movement does not have to be perfect, everybody. When we, when we work the brains, you actually want to be doing challenging things that you don't get correctly. You don't do them perfectly. That's where the brain benefits. Same with exercise. If you're always doing something that is easy for you to do, you're not improving and no. Improvement yeah. comes out of a challenge. To be very good by today, then. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Rest those legs. I, I wanted to give us some extra time to go through that movement so we could really get into the flow of it. All right, we're going to work the arms a little bit more now. They've had a nice rest. They're feeling raring to go. And we're not done with the coordination, so take a breath. You grab a sip of water, quick prayer, and we've got this. So now your arms are going, let's start easy. Let's go out, out, in, in. Yeah? Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in 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 now it feels like we're going to build in the macarena there we go out out in in out out in in good so you get comfortable with the movement remember the goal is to increase your heart rate and your breathing so i'd encourage you to get to a point where this exercise is challenging yet doable and keep you know pacing it out to yourself out out in in out out 
in it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sometimes counting is easier. There we go. Well done, everybody. Maintain your breathing. Remember to breathe out through pursed lips and maintain the pattern as you go. And rest, shake out the arms. So much fun, everybody. <laughs> and it only gets more fun from here. It gets harder. So here's the next movement. Your arm is going to go forward, back. Your other arm's going side, back. And then you alternate forward, back, side, back, forward, back, side, back, forward, back, side, back, forward, back, side, back, forward, side. Forward, side, forward, side, forward, side, forward, side, forward, side, forward, side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. I have a feeling that next class, I'm only going to be able to see your guys' heads. You're going to cut me off completely. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really good, guys. Forwards, oops, side, forwards, side. There we go. Good. And rest, shake it up. Remember, it is important to have a laugh. Yes. Mm. Yep. Yep. That's not a laugh. <laughs> so the last thing we're going to do, you ready? We all know how to march. The marching lots. Remember, if lifting up your leg, full leg is, is a bit too much, lift up just the heel so you can march with just the feet. Now, we're going to go one, two, three. Up. Oh, oh. And back. Yeah. One, two, three. Up. Oh. One. Two, three, up. One, two, three, up. And you'll notice when I go up, I'm also sticking my leg out. Yeah. One, two, three, up. 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 One, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, and rest. Great job, everybody. Make sure you grab a sip of water. <coughs> Those are always fun. <coughs> That's good. I'm glad. All right, <clears throat> now everybody, we're going to need our stretchy band. Now, as you pick up your stretchy band, it's always a good idea just to have a quick look over it for any rips or tears in the rubber, because those are points of weakness where the whole thing could 
SNAP, such as one very memorable BC lung class with yours truly and a certain yellow band. And on that note, remember if you ever notice any a faded strip in the color, that is also a point of weakness in the band's rubber, okay? Now, take the band. And I would, uh, I would encourage you all to sit for this one because um, it can put you off balance and catch up your feet when you're standing. So just put the band under your feet. And then it is up to you how much resistance you want. You can either just hold the band on the tops of your thighs. If you wanna cross them over for more resistance, you can. Um, and remember, if gripping the band gets sore, you can always just wrap the band around your palm and that can be an easier way to help hold it, okay? Now, from here, now I gotta get set up. There we go. From here, guys, we are going to step one foot out to the side just a little ways. Now, I want you to start the movement through your glute, not your leg. And what that means is, is we need to imagine that walnut between the bum cheeks and we're trying to crush it. So crush the walnut, step the foot out, pause, bring it back. And then we're switching. Crush the walnut, step out to the side, and bring it back. Crush the walnut, step the foot out, bring it back. Crush the walnut, step the foot out, bring it back. Crush the walnut. Step out the foot, bring it back. There we go, team. And remember, make your glute do the work. Push that leg out. Push it out with that glute. And it is helpful to breathe out as you push the leg out. Good. Now, my question for you is, how many of these should we do? 50? 70? 20. Okay, now that I know at least half of you are paying attention. Five. Just five of you? Oh, that's how many we should do. <laughs> I thought Barry's going, no, no, only five of us are paying attention. And I am not one of them. Oh, 20. And, I've, I've and done rest. 20. Yeah. Brilliant. Now, right from there, <laughs> you guys are funny. If you do have your arms crossed, just make sure you uncross them. And I want you to lean forward. And leaning forward is different than bending forward, I want you to lean. It should feel tight at the front of your hips, keeping your chest up. And then I want you to pull your elbows up, pull the elbows up. We're gonna hold two, three, and lower the elbows down. If you wanted to do this one standing, you can just be cautious of your backs. Make sure your back is straight. Elbows up, hold, two, three, down, up, hold, two, three, down, and lift, hold, two, three, down, up, hold, two, three, down, up, hold, two, three, down, up, hold, two, three, down, up and hold, two, three, down, one more, up, two, three, down. Brilliant, 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 everybody. Now remember those two exercises, keep them in your minds. Now we're going to 
Um, if you're going to stay seated, you can just keep the band under your feet so it's set for the next time. But if you are going to stand up in the sit to stands, might want to take that off. And remember, if you want to add resistance to your sit to stands to increase the intensity, so a weight, um, you are more than welcome to. Now for today's sit to stand, gonna go a little bit differently, okay? It's, if you're going to stand up, I would like you to try to have your hands up, stand all the way up and then reach your hands up. I know you can't actually see my arms now. Oops, but reach your hands up and then bring the arms back down and then sit down. Now, if you're not standing up, you are going to choose one person who you can see in the video, unless all you can see is me, then I'll count it out for you. We're going to press our feet into the ground. You should feel these muscles tighten up. I can get tired doing this. You just have to push and squeeze and we're gonna hold for the same amount of time as it takes someone to stand up and sit down and then we'll have that quick relax and then go again. Our goal is to do between five and 10 of these. Again, you are in charge of your body and what your capacity is today. Find that challenging but doable balance. Now, if you're staying seated, push. If you're standing up, stand up. And if you're seated, actually, let's open up those arms and then relax them. Open up the arms and push, hold, and relax. Arms and push, hold. Make sure you're still breathing. No holding breath in this class. Rest. And push. Breathe. It's helpful to breathe out as you stand up or push your feet into the ground. Rest. And push. <coughs> Good. And rest. And push. Good. And rest. <coughs> and push. I've got three more. I did 10. You did 10, brilliant. And push. This is two. And rest. And then I've got one last one. I might have been holding my pushes a little bit too long. <laughs> and rest, shake out the legs. All right, now rest time. Remember, some of you need to just lightly keep moving for your rest. That's called active recovery, where it's light intensity, a little bit of movement to help you catch your breath. Some of you need to go to that recovery position. And some of you need to just chill, just breathe, get a sip of water, okay? Rest time is also a great time to ask any questions you might have. Clarify any of the exercises that you, if you didn't feel comfortable doing so during them. Mm. Nothing. That's either a good sign or a bad one. Good sign. A good sign. I think so. Yeah. Yes. To coordinate, coordinate the moments and the different uh, moments. Mind doesn't follow the body. That mm. good. Mind leads the body. Yeah, some of those some of those coordination movements are super, super tough, Soren. Uh, one of the ways to make it a little bit, uh, to break it down, uh, to help you improve a little bit more is when we get everything moving at the same time, so all four limbs moving at the same time, it makes it harder. So you can focus on just one or two limbs at the time. So if I'm getting everyone to go out, out, in, in, you just focus on just the two limbs moving out and in, oh, okay. right? And then switch. And then you'll be able to build up the skill to going out, out, in, in. 
Co coordination is a skill, something that has to be improved to get better at, just like your cardio and your breathing. Thank you. Yeah, so, so nobody should feel bad if they can't quite get it. It's like with anything, you know, some of us have sore knees and have to and have to do things a little bit differently before we get to the strength where we can maybe do a bit more. So yeah, always ask those questions. That's really, really great. Take and learn. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. Okay, gang, we're going back to the band. What was the first band exercise? Walnut crusher. Walnut crusher. <laughs> The walnut crusher. That's right. Yeah, is got it, my band it, and my walnut. <laughs> <laughs> is it close enough to Christmas to call it the nutcracker? <laughs> is that jumping the gun? All right. Ready, team. Clench that glute, and we are stepping out to the side and back. So let's press that leg out. Pause and back. Press that leg out. Bring it back. Now, the second time doing this movement, I want to just add a little bit more to your attention here. As you bring one leg out to the side, if I'm going to move this left leg, I want you pressing down through that right leg. So my left leg is moving out to the side. My right leg pushes down. And what that does is it helps create stability at the non-moving side. So uh, an example, another example of that would be walking. When you go to take a step, the more stable you are on the leg that is pushing your other leg forward, the more balanced you are when walking. Right, Walking is balancing on one leg and going from one leg to the other. And it's helpful when the non-moving side stays stable for the swinging limb. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So yeah. same thing here, you can help practice it. Even if it's a side to side movement, your leg pushes down as the other steps out to the side. Your leg pushes down as the other leg steps out to the side. And it depletes the crushing skill. <laughs> it defeats it? No, it makes it difficult to crush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it can. It can, but it can also help you crush the walnut. Especially if you think about pushing more through your midfoot and heel. That'll help you get your glutes fired up a little bit more. And rest. I talked so much, I didn't quite count. So what was the second movement? Elbow raises. That's right, we call it a, a row where we pull the band. So. I want you all, remember, leaning forward a little ways. Chest stays up. We're not rounding the back. And you can wiggle your hands further down the band until there's no, there's tension on the band. And pull the elbows up. Pause. Two, three, and down. And lift. Pause. Two, three, and down. Lift and pause, two, three, and down. And again, to help us create stability for our arms, I want you to think about pushing through your feet. Don't push through your feet where your body comes up, but just push down through your feet a little bit. Pull those elbows up and hold, two, three, down. Push through your feet a little bit, elbows up, hold, two, three, down. Remember, it's helpful to breathe out as you lift up, hold, two, three, down, and up, two, three, down, two more, up, 
two, three, down. Last one, up, two, three, and down. Brilliant. What was the third exercise? There wasn't one. No, I don't think there was one. <laughs> what a cheeky group today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Third one was our... question period. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was rest time. It was rest. Okay, remember <laughs> fingertips behind the ears if you can. Don't put pressure at the back of your head. Just mm. hold the hands. Okay. And standing up if you can. Otherwise, we're getting those arms out. We're pressing down through your feet and holding and then relaxing. And again, push down. And relax and push down. Relax, push down. Good. Push down. Relax, push down. Relax, <sighs> push down. Relax, push down. And rest, grab some water. And then we've got just one last challenge before stretching. I promise. I promise. Scouts <laughs> honor, Barry. <laughs> dib, dib, dib. What is, is it three fingers for scouts honor? Dib, 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 yep. I hope Hang that's on. not a swear word in a different country, but. You were a brownie and a guy, not a, not a scout. I wasn't anything. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't I told you? I was a one-trick pony. All I ever played, did, and dreamed was soccer. I was obsessed. Well, you're going to enjoy this Hasn't World really Cup, changed. I guess, eh? Well, maybe. Alfonso Davies is injured. I know. He's he playing. Was He's not injured. He is playing. I heard he tore his hamstring, though. No, I'll, I'll look more into it. I don't know if it's recovered. torn, but he injured it, yeah. He's recovered. Oh, that's he's good. He's, 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 our, he's our stallion. He's our, everything's riding on him. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they got that loose cannon. Got Caravelli or whatever his name is on the team now. Yeah, that's right. Okay, before we continue that talk, we just need to quickly go to our last task. It'll be a perfect task for still talking. The nice. challenge is can you keep moving for three minutes? Yeah. Okay. And I want it to be movement that's at an intensity that is challenging yet doable. You're very happy when the three minutes is done, but you are not exhausted. Oh. And I know that's really tough to figure out. We do this a couple times <clears throat> um, throughout the rounds just to see where we're at. So maybe you're just lifting up your heels up and down. Maybe you're just pumping the arms. Maybe you're marching. Find something that you have to kind of push at to maintain, but you're not exhausted or straining. Off we go. And again, perfect time to chat, guys. Maintain your breathing and move however you can. Going back to the soccer, we'll be lucky if we get, very lucky if we get through the first round. Yeah, Belgium, they start out with against Belgium and they're tough. Oh, they are tough. Well, they're the second strongest in the world. I think our goal is to score a goal. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I don't think I don't think they've ever scored a goal in the World Cup whenever they've been in it. Yeah, but if you remember that year when Iceland 
astounded everybody. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. May, maybe Canada can be that way this year. Really? Wasn't Cameroon a Cinderella story too, or one of those teams? Yes. Uh, <laughs> there, yeah, there's been a few. There's been a few. What's what was the other one? Uh, maybe Croatia the first year they made it. I mean, this is a high, ago. I'm trying to remember. This is the highest rank we've ever been. Oh yes. That's very true. We're doing great on that. You know, I mean, talking we made about, it. Talking about the soccer makes us exercising easier because you forget what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you and that's the trick, right? That's the trick. Um, but you have to keep at the back of your mind a little bit of a reminder to push. Because if you get too distracted, it's really easy just to do, do, do. <laughs> you have to keep going. Yeah. Well, who's our but, ranking? Uh, How do yeah. we rank that? Positive. I thought it was in the high 30s. I could be wrong. All right. I, I'd have to look that up. I didn't have that knowledge at the top of my head. Okay. It used to be a hundred and something. Now we're yeah, I, I think you're right though that it's in the 30s. And guys, you've only got about 30 seconds left. Mm. Well, more like 40. 40 seconds left. Keep going. Woo. <laughs> See, it went by in no time. No time at all. There we go. Would any would any of the non soccer lovers like to say anything? You are still part of this class. We care about you. We don't mean to leave you out. This is my first exercise class since my gallbladder got removed. <laughs> oh, congratulations! Rest, everybody. I just That's crushed this so year's nice race. Yeah, we're pretty good at hockey. <laughs> there we go that's right <laughs> <laughs> all right gang i want everyone to get into the recovery position either on their forearms or on their hands either on your thighs or a table in front of you or if you're standing up feel free to do it standing and just bent over okay Remember to breathe out through pursed lips. And we're just looking to get our heart rate settled back down and our breathing rate back under control. There we go. All right, slowly come up out of that breathing position or recovery position, sorry. And we're just going to get your hands on your belly. And we're going to breathe in as we pull the hands apart. And then breathe back in to bring the hands back in. So breathe. Sorry. Breathe in to pull the hands apart and breathe out to bring them back in. I think I just told you to inhale twice. You did. Sorry about that. Good. Breathe in, pull the hands apart. Breathe out, hands back in. Breathe in, pull the hands apart. Breathe out, hands back in. And once more, breathe in, hands apart. Breathe out, hands back in. Okay, we're just going to stretch one arm down. And if you are comfortable with the other arm being up, you're gonna press this one overhead. So our arms are gently reaching away from each other. We're still maintaining our breathing. And just remember stretch time is a great time for any questions or comments. It's a great time to add in the extra socializing bit too, okay? Are you Tuesday and Friday or Tuesday and Thursday stretches? Tuesdays and Thursdays are our exercise days. So okay. which hands? It's just that it's been a month since I've done this, so. All good. We're very happy to have you. What is the date in December that it's finished? I have something. Somebody said 25th. 
or no? Uh, I think it was the eighth. It, it is the eighth. Yeah. Yeah, we may, we may have, Christmas. we may have originally planned to go a week longer, but I got the call. I'm getting knee surgery on the ninth, which is a Friday. <laughs> Why are you? Oh. Oh. Good so luck. then I'll be off for a couple of weeks. I see. Take out the hands, stretch a leg out in front of you. And Jeff Getting thank a new you. knee? No, no, thank goodness. No, they're, um, they're going to once again repair the ACL and remove some floating bits that are causing oh. some trouble. Okay. Oh. Those floating bits. Eh? Yeah, they, they call them foreign bodies. I don't know what's so foreign about them. It's yeah, they're, they, they're, they're from you. From me, so. They're Russian. I think it's a, yeah, yeah, how did they get there? <laughs> and what is the recovery time on that one, Jill? Switch legs. Um, the first eight weeks is very much about regaining uh, range of motion, right. reducing swelling, and then getting the muscles kind of reactivated. Um, because any sort of trauma, injury, or surgery, and swelling tend to inhibit um, how a muscle functions. So you have to work hard to keep up the functioning, make sure they're paying attention. And then, uh, yeah, so in those first eight weeks, we'll be kind of returning to walking um, in straight lines, being very cautious not to twist or fall. Um, and then after those eight weeks, there's... There's about another eight weeks where you're slowly starting to get the strength back and um, still work on the range of motion, being careful not to fatigue it. But the, it's basically an entire year process until you're back to moving more like an athlete. Yes, it takes a while. You know, it amazed me when my granddaughter had it. It's uh, almost a year now. Mm -hmm. But her one leg got so much smaller because she's like you, an athlete. And oh, yeah. All the muscle. Oh, yeah. Within three or four days after surgery. Yeah. You lose like 50% of the muscle mass. It's, it's wow. awful. <laughs> it's wow. awful. Well, I'm not, yeah. And not it looking takes a while forward. to regain that muscle. She is now starting to look like she has two balanced legs, but mm. it was quite unique for a while. Yeah, you, you can't start really going hard at regaining that muscle mm. until about the three or four month mark. Yeah. Um, even then, you can't go super hard at it, but you can at least start doing things that'll really start to build the muscle. Switch arms. I've just lifted up an elbow. And is that difficult for you athletes to operate under those conditions, the restriction? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, and I mean, I've been injured for a year and a half, and it's been, it's, you know, oh, anytime you're under a limitation, it's frustrating, and it's, you have to work hard mentally to right. just, you know, be aware of where you're at and accept it, do what you can, however you can, and, uh, that's the that's the challenge of it. It's the same thing after surgery. You just have to go, okay, well, this is where I'm at. So I'm going to do everything I can within those limits. And yeah. some things are going to slowly improve. And you just got to take it how it is, right? So when hey, you want to make, you you make sure it fires the way it used to, too. Sorry? You want to make sure it fires the way it used to, so. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you so want to make sure you got the function Shaking back. and baking, it does what it's supposed to, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. You guys can just put a leg under your chair or turn sideways. I'm just going to gently stretch out yeah. that hip. So I must have missed it, but when again. will you be coming back? Jeez. Oh, I'll be back when, um, as I understand it, you guys will be on a, a break for the winter um, for a little bit, of, a couple weeks. And then I'll, I'll be back teaching when, for the first class. February? I think it's in February, yeah. Hmm. Right on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some things, you know, I might not be able to do right away, um, but that's okay because we all kind of have our things that we can and can't do. Tell us what to do. <laughs> Which, yeah. And some of you were here. I did the class when I when I right. re-injured it in the summer, yeah. and that went okay. I yeah. think. 
Yeah. 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 Went well. Yeah. We, we did great. Yeah. Well, when you're not here, we can watch you on YouTube anyway. Exactly. <laughs> Dee, Dee, you can never escape me. <laughs> well, yeah. That could be good or bad. <laughs> and someone had a question. Yeah, yeah, this video will be available, exercise video on the YouTube. That's right. All yeah. of them since last year, September, I believe is when we first, first started, um, are available on the BC Lung YouTube channel. Even Whoa. if you just, even if you just Google BC Lung exercise library or exercise with Jill, the whole thing pops up. There's so many videos. That's really great. Oh, that's great. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, is it day surgery for you, Jill? Pardon? Day surgery? Day yes. surgery? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be a quick just a couple hours in and out. Well, we wish you well. Yeah. yeah you, 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 you still got me for a couple weeks. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We know. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You, thank you, Jill. Jill. So welcome everybody and thank you to everybody who was here for the first time and 